Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to use our colors from the color wheel and our rainbow order and we're going to turn that into a spider web. I thought since it's October now and we're getting a little bit closer to Halloween it might be cool to do a spider web so I'm going to show you how to draw this. It's, it's not that hard at all. Okay so what we need is a piece of paper. Okay. You're going to need your messy sheet underneath. You are going to need a Sharpie marker and something to color with. And you want to make sure that your colors have all of the rainbow colors in them. But I'm going to show you how to do the spider web, and you guys are going to be coloring that rainbow on your own. Okay, so first thing we do as we find the center of the paper, right about there, okay, you're going to draw a dot. Simple. And then from there, you're going to draw a line that goes up and down. Okay, turn your paper, and we're going to draw again up and down. Okay, now we're going to kind of turn our paper to the side and make sure the edge of our paper is on the messy sheet here. And we're going to put our um, marker right in the middle here again. We're going to draw to the corner. Turn your paper. Let's do it again from this one. Draw to the corner. To the corner again here. And one more time, corner again here. Not bad. Okay, the next part is doing the, the web lines. So this is simple. You're going to connect them by drawing lines. So draw a line here. And then start at the same spot you ended and go here, 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 here here, here, and here. All the way around. It kind of looks like a circle, but it's a little bit pointy from going to each line. Okay, Same thing, you're going to do it again on the outside of that one. All the way around. Just keep connecting it each time. Keep going around and around and around until you fill up the whole paper. Now, the more lines you do, the more color your spider web's going to have, but you don't want to make them too close together because then you can't fit the color inside. So as you go out, start getting a little bit wider. Okay, so this one I'm going to come out a little bit more. And it makes it look like it's getting bigger, too. Because as you know, a real spider web, it starts to get bigger as it goes out from the center. Kind of like a bullseye. And if you think about it, a spider web kind of is like a bullseye for bugs. Now, as you can see, mine's not perfect. I've got a little mess up here. I've got some curved lines instead of straight. So it doesn't matter if you are not perfect. The more not perfect it is, the more interesting it looks. Okay, now when you start getting close to these edges here, you can kind of go off the paper a little bit. And by off the paper, I don't mean draw on the table. 
don't do that. As you can see, I went off the paper. So again, I'm going to do the same thing here. See how it went, went off the paper? And then you can pick it back up down here and keep going. Oops, I marked on the table. I'll have to clean that off later. That's why we have the messy sheet. Teacher wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. As you can see, it's going off the paper. Okay, so that should be enough there. Now, before we start coloring, we want to draw our spider. So, anywhere on your paper, wherever you want, you can draw a circle. Big circle. Okay? We'll go ahead and we're going to color this circle in. Color it all the way in. Okay, and then for the legs, I'm going to do a line out and down, a little dot at the end. Out, down, little dot. Out, down, little dot. Out, down, little dot. Spiders have eight legs, so we're going to do another four on the other side. Out, down, dot. Out, down, dot. Out, down, dot. Out, down, dot. And there's your spider. Okay, after that it's pretty simple. You're just going to color in rainbow order. Starting with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue and purple in that order Let's start from the center i'll do a couple examples here so red in the center and don't worry about coloring over your spider because the color will not show on top of the black marker okay orange on the next stripe I'm coloring over the spider's legs and they're still showing. We couldn't do this with crayon because the crayon would uh, mix with the other crayon. Next one, yellow. I'm not going to do all of this because this would take too long and I want you to go color. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here to help you out. right after I finish this one okay so to continue it the right order I want you to make a mark say this one's gonna be green this one's gonna be blue this one will be purple next one red orange yellow green, blue. Now our edges are going to be a different color. So this would be purple, but so you don't get confused, you can go do all of them. Okay, so those marks will help you remember what color to do. Once you color the whole thing, 
so that you get an entire rainbow of colors. Okay? Have fun!